Welcome to the Mia Show. Today we're gonna make cell models out of Jello. All living things are made of teeny tiny things called cells. Two kinds of cells are plant cells and animal cells. Cells are made of parts called organelles. Each organelle has a different job to do to keep the cell working. All organelles are found in a gel-like substance called cytoplasm. We're going to use jello to represent the cytoplasm. We're going to use the green jello for the plant cell and the yellow jello for the animal cell. Just follow the directions on the box to make your cytoplasm. We're gonna use Ziploc bags to represent the cell membrane. The cell membrane is a layer that surrounds the organelles. Its job is to let things in and out of the cell. Okay, let's continue by adding the cytoplasm into the cell membrane. Notice how I'm putting the plant cell into a container. This is the cell wall. We're gonna use this plastic container to represent the cell wall of the plant cell. The cell wall gives added support to the plant cell. Now refrigerate the jello to look semi-soft. Then take it out and add the other organelles. I found this vegetable platter in the fridge. I think my mom is using it to host a party tonight, but I don't think she'll mind us borrowing some. We're going to use a tomato to represent the nucleus. The nucleus is the control center of the cell, kind of like our brain. The DNA inside the nucleus determines everything about the cell. We're going to use peppers to represent the vacuoles. Vacuoles are storage tanks for water and other fluids. We're going to use the baby carrots to represent the mitochondria. The mitochondria turns the nutrients into energy. We're going to use the snap peas to represent the chloroplast. Chloroplasts are found only in plant cells and is where photosynthesis takes place. Here, energy from the sun is used to create energy for the plant. Chloroplasts are not found in animal cells because animals must consume food as their main source of energy. Okay, I think we're finished. Okay, let's compare the plant cell versus the animal cell. Both cells have the nucleus, and both cells have the mitochondria. The plant cell has one large vacuole, and the animal cell has multiple small vacuoles. The plant cell has a cell wall, and the animal cell doesn't. Mmm, I think I like the plant cell more. Does that make me a herbivore? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. What happened to my vegetable platter? I don't know. All living things are made of teeny tiny cells. Two, okay, throw it right in now. All living things are made of teeny tiny cells. One, wait, what? <coughs> Mom, don't sneeze. All living things are made up of two, okay. All living things are made up of teeny tiny cells. Wait. All living things are made of, all living things are made up of, hold on, let me just read it. I'm just going to borrow some for, to okay, let's go. My mom found this vegetable platter in the fridge, but I don't think she'll borrow it, so I'm just going to, 
Um, I don't know. What am I gonna do with it? I found this vegetable flower in the fridge, clan. Just follow the directions to on the. Wait, what? Just, Just follow the directions on the box. I'll be using yep. gr the green gel for the plant cells and then the yellow cell for animal gel. I think my mom is using it to host a party tonight, but I don't think she'll mind um, borrowing it. Give me the paper. You are watching Mia's video. Like, subscribe, and comment down below.